Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to run Windows 11 on almost any computer, does not matter if you have an old PC or a new PC. And also I will show you by testing this Windows 11 boot disk on an Intel i3 4th generation which is legacy bias based computer and i5 7th generation which is UEFI based computer. And I'm sure it will definitely help to run Windows 11 on any computer like plug and play. So let's get started. To continue this process, you will need three prerequisites. Number one, an external HDD or SSD or a USB flash drive, at least 64 GB of capacities, which is highly recommended. Here, I am using a SATA M.2 SSD with an external SATA 3 M.2 SSD enclosure. Number 2. Windows 11 ISO file. You can download it from Microsoft's official website. And number 3. Rufus to create a bootable USB drive. Ok, once you have 3 prerequisites, open the Rufus. Now, tick this list of all USB hard drives box under advanced drive properties. Now select your external HDD or SSD or USB pen drive under device section. After that, select the Windows 11 ISO file. Now select Windows to go under image option. Now here are the most important steps. To create a Windows to go drive installing Windows 11 with legacy or UEFI, you will need to press Alt plus E key combination to enable dual boot mode for legacy or UEFI. Now select Partition Scheme MBR and select Target System Type BIOS or UEFI. Under Volume Label, you can enter any name for your USB drive or you can leave the default name. Select NTFS under File System and leave the cluster size default. Once done, click Start. Now select the version of your Windows 11 and click OK. Ok, now check this box to prevent Windows to go from accessing internal disks and click OK. Now check these three boxes to remove the requirement for secure boot, TPM 2.0, 4GB RAM and 64GB hard disk and to disable the data collection. Once done, click OK. Now read this warning message about your USB drive and click OK. Now keep patience, this will going to take a lot of time, so keep Rufus running in the background. Ok, I just fast forward this boring part. Well, as you can see, the message Windows to go drive is now ready. Ok, now it's time to boot your computer with your external HDD or SSD or USB stick. Now restart your computer. When the screen turns black, keep pressing the BIOS key. My BIOS key is F2. Check your motherboard manufacturer information for the BIOS key. After entering in the BIOS, go to boot tab. And select your external HDD SSD as primary boot priority order to boot from that. As you can see, the boot mode shows legacy and no need to change the boot mode because this Windows 11 boot disk supports legacy or UEFI both. Once done, press F10 or go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Now keep patience, Windows 11 installation screen will appear. Alright, now you need to do is to set up the language, keyboard layout, Microsoft account and some basic personalization options. You can follow the screen instructions to set up your Windows 11.
Okay, once you have finished with Windows 11 installation, after that, this Windows 11 external boot disk is completely ready to use on almost any computer. Does not matter if you have an old PC or a new PC. Okay, at first, let me show you by using this Windows 11 boot disk on i5 7 generation, which is UEFI BIOS based computer. Connect this device to your computer's USB port and simply go to BIOS. and select your external Windows 11 boot disk as primary boot priority order to boot from that. And as you can see, the boot mode shows UEFI. Once done, press F10 or go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Alright, as you can see, the Windows 11 was successfully booted in UEFI mode from this external boot disk. And you can check the drive status from Windows Task Manager. However, now let me show you by using this Windows 11 boot disk on i3 4th generation which is legacy BIOS based computer. After connecting this USB drive, go to BIOS and select your external boot disk as main boot order to boot from that. And as you can see, the boot mode shows legacy. Once done, press F10 or go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Ok, as you can see, the Windows 11 was successfully booted in legacy mode from this external boot disk. And also you can check the drive status from Windows Task Manager. So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.